show you what I'm doing with burr cone. This is a new frame and I'm moving the burr cone over here. Again, as you can see, I'm not wearing any gear or anything. These are wild bees. These aren't domestic bees. These are feral bees, Japanese bees. And this proves that they're so used to us. They've had thousands of years of working with us, you know, thousands of years of a love relationship with man and know that ultimately a beekeeper is someone here to help them. So I'm like their big data coming in here. So I've added another frame and I'm gonna add another frame in here and these look good now. I didn't see the queen, but this looks good. Um, and something you can do here, I'll try to do it here, I'm gonna switch the top to the bottom and the dot bottom to the top. So this type of box, you can clean it really easy. So this is the clean box, right? I'm gonna to try to do this without this box here. And I'm rotating the top to the bottom. Even though they're actually, they're use, losing an entrance if I do this, I think. They just did. So the entrance now is gonna be on the top. But look how uh, dirt, look at all this, look at all this mess they have in here. Look at all this mess. I'm trying to see if there's any varella mites in here. There's pollen. See, this is actually really good to look at because I'm seeing if there's mites. Is that a mite here? No, that's wax. I don't see any mites in this in this gook. They look like little crabs, and they stand out. I've seen a plenty of them. There isn't any. Is that a mite? No. There is no mites. I'm going to take a picture of this. 